Once you've registered for Yamdu, let's go and set up your personal user settings. That way, you'll be able to use the system to your own advantage. So, if we go ahead and click on the icon, we'll be able to see the user settings. And here, you'll be able to set up and modify your profile by inputting general information, contact information, and any addresses you want to add. Then we have the personal master data. So in this section, users will be able to select the country that they'll be working in, and the following information will get adjusted to what is most frequently asked by an employer in that particular country. So really, it's private information that your employer will want to collect for the books, like your social security number, uh, marital status, and so on. It's also important to mention that the information filled out in this section is going to be protected by sensitive access rights. Meaning, it's not visible to just anyone, so only those with granted access will be able to view it. Moving along, um, you can also add your company information, um, your educational background and any skills, and even include a CV as well. Also, you can specify your food preferences for catering purposes. So if you have any allergies, that'll be important to include in the text box. Next, you can also state whether or not you have a valid driver's license or really any other types of licensing information. You can also choose your privacy settings. Because your profile contains sensitive information from the personal master data, um, you can restrict editing access to company or project admins. Or you can choose to hide your contact information from other users in the crew list. Next, you can select whether or not you wish to receive newsletters or instructional emails. And let's just make sure to hit save so that your profile can get updated. Moving on to project specific settings, you'll be able to input any information required for a specific project. Then you can reset your password if you ever need to. And depending on your interface preferences, you can change the color of the application from light mode to dark mode and vice versa. But let's just stick with the dark mode since it's easier on the eyes. Then you have languages and formats. So you can change the country and even select the preferred language using the drop down menu. And you can see that the system supports quite a few of them. Once you do this, formats like the time and date that appear in the system will adapt to the country's conventions. Next is notifications. You'll have the option of either being notified through emails or push notifications um, via the downloadable app or in the browser. But you'll see that email notifications for new announcements and final call sheets cannot be disabled since they can contain important announcements like canceling or changing a shooting schedule due to bad weather, which really needs to be sent to your email. Other than that, you can go down the list and make changes as you wish. Then you can change the email address for your account, um, remove yourself from the company you are currently an admin of, or even delete your account. All right, that was a brief look at user settings in Yamdu. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.